If you're managing customer onboarding in HubSpot, you likely are using deals, tickets, or custom objects to manage that customer onboarding process. At Arrows, we usually say any object in HubSpot that has a pipeline is a good place to start for onboarding. Now, there are a few drawbacks with each of those options. So if you're using deals for customer onboarding, sometimes it gets confusing if you also have a sales process running in deals, and there's sometimes a mix up with reporting and things like that. If you're using tickets for customer onboarding and you're also using tickets for customer support, that can also get confusing with some kind of reporting and different associations. And if you're using custom objects, that's usually the best bet I would say probably 60% of our customers use tickets for onboarding, about 40% of our customers use deals. And we have a lot of people who are considering using custom objects, but not that many who are actually using custom objects for customer onboarding, just because it's a little bit harder to configure and is not like the cleanest out of the box setup. And it's only available on enterprise tiers and HubSpot. So not everyone has access to that. But HubSpot recently launched a new object. It's called the services object, and it's part of their new standard object library. And it's specifically designed for service delivery, which is a perfect use case for customer onboarding. And so I'm really excited to share that Arrows now connects to the new services object inside HubSpot. And so in this video, I'm gonna talk about the new services object, how it works, um, and then also show how Arrows integrates with it too. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm in my demo instance of HubSpot. And first I'm gonna talk through how to even get the services object set up in your portal. So first I'm gonna to navigate to settings inside HubSpot. Then we're gonna scroll down to objects and we're gonna click on the object library. Okay, so now that we're in here, you can see all of the new objects that they have in here. So we already have companies, contacts, deals, and tickets set up. I'm imagining you will too. Um, and so the one that we're gonna turn on here and the one that Arrows now supports is the services object. So I'm going to click this to activate it and I'm gonna just confirm it right here. One thing I want to note, I think this page is cool just to see all of the objects that you have, but because these are now considered standard objects, they should work with all of the other parts of HubSpot that you're used to. So importantly, things like pipelines, custom report builder, workflows, lists, all of those things should operate with the services object really similarly to how you're used to with contacts, companies, deals, and tickets. Okay, so now on the left sidebar, I'm gonna scroll down and when I see objects here, I will go into the services object that I already set up. Now, I don't have anything set up for this yet because I'm just installing it into my portal for the first time. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my pipeline. So I'm gonna keep this really basic just for this demo. And in fact, in this case, we have new in progress and closed. I'm gonna keep just those three statuses just for right now so we can just see what the pipeline view looks like and then we're gonna configure some of it so that Arrows can work with it too. One thing I wanna note, if you don't already have Arrows installed in your HubSpot portal, you'll need to do that first. So you can always find Arrows in the App Marketplace directly and install it there, and then the rest of this will be available to you. Okay, from here, I'm gonna go in and actually look at the pipeline since I already have it set up here. So I'm going to click here and click on the services object right here. I'm gonna create a new record here. So I'll click Create Service. And I'm just gonna call this Acme onboarding and we'll just put it right in the pipeline and it'll be in the new stage. And I'm not gonna set anything else here right now, but it looks like these are the default properties that are available on the service object. So we've got description category status, target end date and total cost, which is interesting. So you can see these properties are designed more for service delivery. And you can always add different properties and I would recommend adding some of the arrows default properties, which can also sync to the service object as well. So I'll click create service. All right, and now we've got our first live service object. So in order to get this object set up for arrows, I'm gonna click on customize record. And right now in my demo account, we just have a default view. So I'm gonna click into this view. So this is what everyone in my portal is gonna see. So for the right sidebar, I'm gonna click on add cards. And you'll see here, it's allowing me to add the arrows onboarding plan app card. So we've got that there. I'm gonna actually go ahead and move this up to the top of the record so we can see it right away. And then in the middle panel, I'm also gonna add the Arrows app cards. So we have the file submission and form submission app cards right inside the uh, options here too. So I'm gonna close out of that. And then I'm gonna move those up a little bit higher in this overview panel as well. Then I'll save and exit. Okay, so now we're back in that services object and we have the card for arrows here for the onboarding plan. And then we also have these cards here for file submissions and form submissions. Now we don't have an arrows onboarding plan connected yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. 
So in order to, to connect an onboarding plan, I'm actually gonna just create an onboarding plan from scratch. So I'm gonna click this button right inside the service object here. It's gonna automatically pull in the customer name based on the service object name that I had set up. And then I'm gonna choose just our enterprise onboarding template for this particular test customer. And now right inside HubSpot, I've got my onboarding plan that's customized for this customer right inside the services object. So I'm able to access this plan view it, all of that right inside the services object. And um, you can come in and I'm just going to, in this example, I'm going to complete a couple of tasks like I'm the customer. So I've completed three tasks here. I'm going to close right out of this. And then right on the services object, uh, you'll see that three out of 14 tasks have been completed. So that gets updated automatically. Now I'm going to open up the plan again one more time just to show you what this looks like. So I have this tell us more about your account setup task. And so I'm going to fill out a couple of these forms. So we'll fill these out, submit them. That task is done right away. It's going to update that I've completed four of the 14 tasks. And then because I just filled out those forms, it's going to show here on that CRM card in the middle panel as well. So all of the answers to those questions will automatically populate here. You'll be able to see the answer and then you'll be able to go right to the task where that was completed as well. Okay, so this is just the basics. You can see if you already know Arrows and you are already using Arrows to run your customer onboarding process, you can see it's super simple and really quick to actually get it set up. The major perks for using the services object for customer onboarding is that it's its own separate object. So you don't need to worry about running a, an onboarding pipeline next to a sales pipeline within deal or onboarding with a support pipeline within tickets. The services object is its own unique object. You can use it just for service delivery or for customer onboarding. There's even a beta out now that allows you to rename this object. So if you're just using this object for onboarding, you can just call it onboarding and have it completely delineated from the rest of your standard objects inside HubSpot. But you can see here, you can also associate this just like any other standard object. You can associate this with other objects as well. So you can associate this record with a contact company deal or ticket. So um, I think this is a really clean setup. I was skeptical at first about whether or not this was actually a legit setup for customer onboarding. There are some limitations because it's a newer object for HubSpot. So things like pipeline tags, which I love, are not currently available with the services object, but I'm sure HubSpot will be adding them soon. The only other caveat as far as arrows is concerned is on most objects inside HubSpot, you'll be able to access timeline events. So in the activities timeline here, you would be able to see any time a task was completed within your arrows plan. And right now we are limited with HubSpot's API to be able to add that. So we don't currently support timeline events on the services object, but as soon as HubSpot enables us to do that, we will definitely add it there. And then um, as far as arrows is concerned, the support and functionality is exactly the same as it would be for deals or tickets. I highly recommend that people try out the services object. A lot of our partners are really loving it. And some of our customers have even said, if they're gonna start over with a fresh portal for customer onboarding, they would use the services object rather than deals or tickets. So definitely check it out and let us know how you like it.